Hello, welcome to Spy Money. I'm going to show you how to install the MentorTrader 8.1.1.5, this version here. Uh, this is the version that I recommend. I wouldn't, I never used the other ones because there was too many bugs. Uh, so we have been using this one. But this week I went ahead and started using this version and it worked really smooth. All of our products work with it. There's no issues there. Uh, there's never been an issue with our products working with it. Um, the issue has just been a lot of bugs that they've had. And you can see the release notes um, that they have done. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download this one. And that's going to bring it down into here. Once you do that, you're done with this part. So what I recommend you doing, instead of installing over top of the old one, is I recommend you uninstall the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a few documents. So you go to your documents folder, double click your Ninja Trader 8. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and save my workspaces. So I'm going to drag this over to here and then I'm going to drag my templates file over to here. And then I've got these files right here that I use. These are my defaults. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight these and drag these over. This UI folder is all of your time frames. So whenever you go to a chart and you click on time frames at the top and that drop down opens up that window, that's what this is. So we're saving everything that we normally do. Uh, the templates folder has a lot of different things in it. So all of this information that you have, all of your drawing tools and everything, all your favorites, uh, they will be in here. So when you get your new Ninja Trader installed, you can do that. So that's all that I need out of here. Uh, now if you have uh, a lot of, uh, I don't, but if you have a lot of uh, replay data and stuff like that, then you can go in and you can pick out your replay data. Um, I don't really care about all that. Uh, you can also go in and pull out your um, data for all your playback. I don't, I don't use playback so it's not important to me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in and uninstall. And so if you type in uninstall at this search window down here and then click on that, and then that's going to open up this window. You can see Ninja Traders there so we're going to go ahead and uninstall it. Now you want to make sure that you have your license key or um, not your license key but um your connections and all that you want to make sure that you have all the information which you should be saving that somewhere else so we're going to go ahead and install this so when we do this this is going to go ahead and uninstall the program and it's it's in my opinion it's better to start fresh as to just have a, an update I don't like updates so now we've got that off. Now what we have to do is go down to our folders and we're going to go back to documents. Now we're just going to click on that and we're just going to drag it to the trash bin. We're going to get rid of it. So now we have Ninja Trader completely off of our system. Uninstalling it doesn't take it off. Uninstalling takes the program off but you still have your issues over here or your uh, file, file folders. Now that we've got this, we're going to go ahead and exit out of this. And then we're going to go ahead and empty the recycle bin. This gets rid of everything. Now if you're not sure about how to do this, you don't want to lose anything, you can always make a copy and put it here on your desktop. But I recommend getting it completely off your system. So now that you've done that, you want to go back into your file folder. And you want to go to your download where you downloaded Ninja Trader. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And once we click that, we don't need that anymore. So now we're going to just go ahead and click through. Accept your terms. I like to have a dark background. That's, that's how I trade. It's a black background. And a lot of people will install this on a slave drive or something, like a separate hard drive or a, um, a external hard drive. It doesn't work. You need to install it on your PC. When you install it on the others, it just seems like there's glitches, so we don't do that. So now we've got it installed. Now if you want, you can go ahead and um, pin this to the taskbar so that it will show up down here.
Now, I don't like a lot of things on my backgrounds here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this. We're going to go back to Documents and Ninja Trader. So this one is going to have your templates in here, you know, the things that you had. But if you go ahead and drag this over to here, and it'll ask you if you want to copy it over. You want to replace this destination, yes. And now when we go in here, we're going to see that we have our ATM strategies are in here and all that. So everything that you had on your other Ninja Trader is now here. Now this one, uh, we want to do, we want to drag this UI folder over. And that's going to be our time frames. And then this one is going to be, um, you don't have to do this, but on Spy Money, the Ninja Suite, we have toolbars and stuff. So these are our defaults, so I went ahead and put those back. Your workspaces, you go ahead and drag that over, and you have to replace it. So now when we open this up, we have our workspaces that we use. So you don't really lose anything by doing just these few little steps. Uh, again, your your uh, database for all your time frame, or your um, backup data is gone, but you could save that if you want. You could just move it over. So once you get this, then you want to just go ahead and open up Ninja Trader. And it's going to come to your login, and you type in your information there. And once you put your information in, I didn't want to show my passwords and stuff, but once you put that in, you're going to come up to this screen. So if you put your start trading. And then it's going to open up to your workspace. So we, the, you know, mine I copied over my workspace that I use and this is what I use. So it copied over. So now the only thing you have to do is go up to your connections tab my live is already there but you don't see the configure button so what you have to do is go to tools and then the options and go down to on your general tab you want the multi provider so if you have a live account plus maybe use apex or uh, you profit or take uh, take profit or any of those funded accounts then you would need to have a multi provider so you click this and then click apply Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and set this up. This is something that I set up on my bots. So I go to Stop Strategy, I do a 45, 0, and 0, and we'll apply that. And then we want to go to Trading and Confirm Order Placement. We want to turn that off. We don't need that. there we go now we're saved now we have to restart in order for the multi provider to come up uh, actually no it showed up if you have um, a trade of eight account or um, like an apex trade of eight account or a take profit any of them that use the trade of eight platform you want to click ninja trader when you click this, then you type in whatever name you want, put your username and password in, click apply, and now if you do the rhythmic, then you want to do this one. So you'll double click this one, change it to whatever you want, like Apex Rhythmic, that way you know it's a rhythmic. And once you put that in, put your username and password in. Uh, of course with Apex, you're going to come down and put Apex here, you profit and take uh, um, Actually, with um, if you're on the evaluation account, you would use or PA you use Apex, but with Take Profit and with uh, or not Take Profit, but U Profit, you would come up here and pick the Rhythmic Paper Trading for the evaluation, and then if you don't have the evaluation, then you would come down to where is that? Uh, you you uh, you profit right here so just follow their instructions for what they need in here and that would help you out 
So once you add those, then you can come up here to connections and you just pick it and connect. You can make it to where it will connect automatically if you want. And right now this is my live accounts that I have. And it's um, once you sign in from your main screen, it will automatically put that in. Uh, but these, this is my live right now. And that's how you set this up and then, you know, as far as importing your Ninja Suite, you just do it the normal way. Come down to Import and Ninja Script Add-on and then just load your indicators and load your bots. And when you do that, all of your settings will be the way they were as far as any kind of like time frames and such. So if I come into time frames, you know, my time frames are already here. Once I load the files from the Ninja Suite on here, then it will show up the spy mini bars up here, the Nizarenko will be there, and it will all be ready. I hope this helps you. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, there's no videos that I could find to teach you how to do this. Uh, I've been through Ninja Trader support. Uh, never could get an answer from them on how to set any of this up. This is the easiest way to do it. It works really well. Uh, I'm real happy with the 8.1.1 point five version it works great and honestly at first I didn't like the sign in at the beginning but now that they've got everything worked out I actually like it better because once you sign in it just loads everything up for you so it's actually better and it's a little more secure if someone gets on your uh, PC or or your VPS or whatever they can't start Ninja Trader unless that it is they know the password so that helps, you know, so some, if you have a kid or something, maybe hit some buttons and it pops up and they start trading, um, you know, they can <laughs> make you money or not. So I, I know someone that uh, their grandkid got on there and started trading and uh, it, they ended up making money on it as a little kid did. So but if you have any questions, uh, let me know. This is, um, it's a good platform now. I like it. Uh, no bugs that I found all week. It's just worked really well. So Ninja Trader really did a good job on it. The features and everything they did, they actually made it easier to get things um, on here. And it's also got the messages on here. So if they send you a new one or whatever, you can open that up. It's just more more convenient. The license key, you have to do that on the website. And uh, whenever you go into the website, you'll go at the top. You will have, you will have this, and I'm not going to click on it, but if you click on this up here, and go to settings and then you'll go uh, there's tabs that will pop up here I don't want to show my account information but there's tabs up here and one of them is profile and when you click on that profile there will be a place that you can put your license key in if if you if it doesn't have one but it should if you bought the lifetime license when you log in it automatically brings all that in so that helps you out and as far as the license keys for the apex and you, uh, take profit and you profit and all that it's already built into the back end as soon as you create that connection then it has it in the back so that it'll work for you so now um, you know if you have the lifetime license um, if it doesn't pop up and show in there just go in and add it under the profile and that should help you out if you have any questions let me know uh, as far as the ninja suite people you know I'm always there to help you and y'all have a great day Happy trading.